Hey you guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed on a sensational Saturday. Me, I'm doing blessed and highly favored. And thank you for coming to my channel and seeing what I'm about. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and blessings to you. And thank you for the support. And if you can, do me a favor and please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification button so you'll be able to know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel so free, you can go ahead and drop a comment. Even give me a thumbs up if you can resonate with my video. And if you are a returning sub, as always, thank you so much for the support. Love and blessing is always to you. And love and light. And namaste to both. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. See the beauty in everything you do. Before I get started on my video, I would like to give a big up to my homeboy, Anthony Torres. He is just a sweetheart. Anytime you see any of the pictures on my channel that has the ones that just scream out to you with the bright colors of everything with my dad, Anthony is one who made them. So I had to ask him today again because I every time he makes his makes one on his page and if you have a facebook channel i mean uh, have a facebook uh page if you will be so welcome to go ahead and stop by and see what he's about i mean he does a lot of things like he gives away jewelry he does contests i mean he does a lot of things i've not seen people do on facebook and it gets you know people rolling i mean he even has his own little um channel that he does for the radio and I love it. He, he plays a lot of good music that some of the stuff I haven't heard that my dad has done. So it's a lot of things that, you know, Anthony has done. And this is his uh, group page is Love for One Another. It's, it says L41A. Uh, if you go ahead and look him up if you're on Facebook. And go see what he's about. That He is a real true sweetheart. So um, I had to give him a shout out to my video today because like I said, anytime he has made beautiful pictures of my dad, I always steal them and put them on my, my channel. Um, but today the video, I'm listening to Music Soul Child and it fits best with this video called So Beautiful. And it's just like so many things. It's just like lately, oh my gosh, people have been dying left and right, guys. People have really been dying left and right. And it makes you want to just wake up and just like, you know what? Life is too short to be ugly and bitter towards people. If they have not hurt your family, hurt your children, if it's just drama, let it go. Just walk off and let it go. Because it's just, it takes too much energy out of you. And plus, it gives you wrinkles. <laughs> you don't want to get wrinkles before your time. It keeps you very, very, you know, it keeps you stressed out. And so it's just like, see the beauty in everything you do and it's just like a lot of people ask me it's like what, what, is, what are you doing what's your secret because it's like your facial features has changed i've lost a lot of weight um i changed my eating habits uh i don't really eat meat as much i eat more vegetables than meat so i've, I've done a lot of that um and i have like meditated a lot and I had to let go of a lot of things. So people were like, you found the fountain of you. What, what's going on? You look more like your dad. And, you know, I feel a lot like my dad, too. It's just I feel him with the energy. And a lot of people say when they see a lot of my videos for the first time, they feel that same energy. And I never knew what they were talking about. I just felt like when I'm in a good, positive mood and I feel like I need to go ahead and talk to people and send love out like a light worker or whatever you want to call me. I feel free to do that because it's just like that's what my dad did. Anytime he was going through things, he spread love throughout the world and he's known for so many things. And it, it feels like a privilege to go ahead and follow behind that footstep. And not I can feel that that void or feel that shoe because Jesus, that's just too much to be feeling. So but all I know is I gotta do my part as in sending love out to the world. So it's just like today I went through nature and I had to go get a tire change and just just looking at everything was just like, wow, you know, you've been through a lot. You have released a lot. And it's just, you know, when I keep looking at my numbers, you know, I'll go in tears because it just feels so beautiful to be in love with yourself. And it's not saying that it conceited arrogant way, but just to have love for yourself because so many of us have self-hate. And a lot of people don't realize that they're doing it, but it's just when you, you, um, when you can sit up here and go through a lot of things and you hinder them all, it's like you're abusing yourself. 
because you have to, if, you know, if you're looking for a new love in your life or whatever like that, you cannot have a new love until you can be able to love yourself, be able to have that love for yourself. So you can be able to know what you don't want to deal with and that's what you want to deal with and things you won't accept and will accept. So it's just as a twin flame, it, it's just like you had to learn how to love yourself. And it's just like you will feel anytime you're a twin flame and it's just like a lot of people don't know what twin flames are. Because I know when I first started these videos, I didn't know what the heck a twin flame was. But it's when you go ahead and you start going through those situations of that oneness with your, your twin, you have to learn how to accept yourself, even though you're you're in love with him. Who is not in love with my dad? You know, I've seen so many comments. I have to bust out laughing because I'll blush. And it's just like him looking like, do they really think that about me? I'm like, yeah, and it's kind of funny. Nasty, but kind of funny. <laughs> but, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, to each his own, whatever. But it's just the fact is I've seen so much love people have out there for him. And it helps me heal a lot. Because of not knowing, you know, what went on throughout my past when it came to him, I just did not know. But I just knew that I had to know that he had love for me. And that's all that mattered. I had to let go of the rest, which was very hard to do. Especially when you did not know about your father until after he passed away. You know, you always knew about certain things that, you're, you know, that my mom had always told me. But that was pretty much it. So I had to learn how to deal with it and let go of the things that I could not change. And it's just so many times what our problem is, is that we have gone through so much trauma in our life, we'll suppress it and not let it go. And it'll be eating us inside and you're just wondering why you're walking around here like a chicken with his head cut off. Because there's a lot of things that we have not accepted and dealt with. So it's just I had to embrace the badness. I had to embrace the beautifulness. And it was just like, when I started letting things go, people were just like, girl, what did you do? What kind of regimen are you using? I said nothing except soap and water. <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm 40 years old. And they tell me that I look like I'm in my 20s or my, you know, my late 20s or my, my early 30s or whatever. And I'm like, I appreciate it. I don't believe it. But hey, teach your own. So it's just like, guys, when you go through things, let them go. Embrace them for what it is. Take it for what it's worth, but let it go. Life is so much prettier when you don't have things hovering over your back. And I know sometimes it's hard to do. Trust me, I know it's hard to do. But it's just like with my situation, you know, I didn't really get a chance to meet, to actually see my dad again. And it's just like, even though I know one day God sees it, I will see him. It's just like we talk all the time. So it's not like I really get to miss him because with the twin flame, you're never separated. You know, even though you're not in the physical together, you're always together in the 5D. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up. Just see the beauty in everything that you do. It's just when you see somebody else, just say have a nice day or happy holidays. Because, you know, Christmas is coming up. And it's just like for me, I try not to be depressed because of so many things um, that went on in my life. Because it's just, you know, that's family time. And I really don't have family to deal with except my, my daughters. And that's pretty much it. So, um, I just be, just to be blessed with what I have. And I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. And I hope that you can resonate with what I have to say. And even drop a comment if you feel free. And much love and many blessings to you and namaste. And please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button. And drop a comment if you feel free. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.